Okay, good evening, guys. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's good to see you again. Good How evening. was your weekend? How was your weekend? Saturday and Sunday? Very well. Very well. Okay, nice. Nice for you, Gabriel. Very nice. Just let me fix something with the camera here. Well, guys, welcome to your class. This is the class number 12. Okay, class number 12. And in a moment, you will see in the screen the class presentation. Just that I had a problem. Yeah, now fix. Today is Monday, June 12th, right? And the class number 12. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about hope. Okay, so we are going to review how to structure, how to use adverbs of frequency. We are going to also learn about breakfast around the world. Thank you for sending for sending the, the homework, the assignment, the presentations. Very good. We'll do it at the end of the class. So right now we are going to go over a game which you will practice frequency adverbs. in a moment. Okay. <coughs> Today I'm a little bit sick, guys, so I will need your help. Okay. I need one volunteer. Volunteer or victim? What do you prefer? I prefer volunteers. Any brave one? Any Ray volunteer? Jose Riverto, very good, excellent. Okay. Hi, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Okay, Heriberto, I'm going to spin the wheel. And you have to say any example with the frequency Albert, never. Never. Okay, so you can make a, a sentence using never. Okay, now. Yes, now. Okay, uh, breakfast in London. Um, the people in London are usual, uh, usually eat uh, for breakfast. Oh, sorry, Heriberto. It's about, can you see the screen? The never. Yes. Okay. So in this moment, we are practicing the frequency adverbs. Okay. You have to make a sentence with never. Ah, oh. Okay. I drink uh, never sugar. I drink, I drink coffee. I drink never coffee for sugar. I never drink coffee with sugar. Okay. Yeah. Very nice, Alberto. Good. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Okay, who is next? Heriberto, choose the next victim. Hello? Choose a person from the class, a victim, to participate ah, okay. in the activity. Okay, um, Carlos. Carlos Garcia. Sí, yeah. Hello, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Oh, we have to do it again. I'm sorry, you win a juice, but I cannot give it to you. <laughs> so we have to do it again. Thank you. Okay, make a sentence using hardly ever. Okay, uh, I hardly ever put sugar in my coffee. 
Oh, so a similar example. Okay. Me too. I hardly ever put sugar in my coffee. <laughs> Good job, yes. Carlos. Okay, who is the next person? Uh, Gabriel Isaac, I see. Gabriel Isaac, okay. It's my friend. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Congrats, you win a jogger. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> but I cannot give you the jogger. <laughs> give me the jogger. <laughs> so, only a virtual jogger. Almost never. Almost never. This is like 2% of frequency, right? Almost never. And I almost never go to the San Miguel City. Okay, you almost never go to San Miguel. Great. Thank you, Gabriel. Who is the next, Gabriel? Um, Jean Lisette. Jean Lisette. Okay. You were the chosen one, Jean. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sorry, good, good evening. <clears throat> good evening. I sometimes go to the gym after to work. After work. Excellent. After work. Excellent. Very Thank nice. Thank you. Okay. Let's see who is next. Who is next, Ginny? Um Amalia. Amalia. Often. Often. A sentence with often. Remember to activate your microphone. Hoy no hay, no hay, yes, yes. Sí. Often, I often is watching play soccer. Okay, so you often watch soccer games. I, oh, I often, uh -huh, I often watching play soccer, watching TV. <coughs> Okay, you often watch soccer games. Soccer game. Mm, game. Soccer game. Uh -huh. you, you often watch soccer game. Ah, uh, soccer game. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Amalia. Who is next? Okay. Uh, Selena? Excuse me? Uh, question, your question? Yeah, who is the next person to participate? Ah, okay, Selena. Selena. Selena, is Selena connected? I don't see Selena. Hello, Selena. I don't see Selena connected today. Selena, are you in the class? I think she's not, Amalia. No. Sorry. Okay. Who's another meeting? Her watching, connecting. Eh. <laughs> Vamos a... Alba Jocelyn? <laughs> okay, Alba. Okay, Alba Jocelyn. Always. Una, una oración que lleve over. Yes. Uh, Solo trabajando pasa uno con él. 
You can say, my baby always cries. <laughs> Alba, you can say, my baby always cries when I am in class. <laughs> just kidding, it's just an example. Well, guys, thank you for your participation. Okay, this is just to see how you can use the adverse of frequency. Okay, so now let's go over the class. Today, we are going to learn about frequency. Well, you already know about frequency adverse. You know that we, the structure is like this. The subject, the adverb of frequency, the verb, and the complement. In the third person, remember, you have to add the S to the verb. She never makes her bed. My family always has dinner together. I sometimes eat fruit for breakfast. So in this case, that is the, the structure for all the verbs, all the verbs, except the only exception is the verb to be. The verb to be is a special. So the, the way we use it with the adverb frequency is different. The, the only change, the only change is the position of the adverb and the verb. With the other verbs, we first put the adverb frequency and then the verb. But with the verb to be is like this. Subject, verb to be, adverb frequency, and complement. For example, she is always early for work. She is always. Other example, I am usually very busy every day. I am usually, okay? <coughs> I am usually very busy every day. So this is with, only with the verb to be, okay? With the verb to be. First, the verb to be, and then the adverb of frequency. Can we make some examples in the chat? For example, you can say, I am always on time for the class. Uh, you can say, my mother, my mother is sometimes sick. So remember, this the verb to be is right after the subject. Subject, verb to be, and then the adverb frequency. Can we make some examples with the using the verb to be and adverbs of frequency? <coughs> Can you type some examples, guys? Well, while you type for the examples, excellent, Carlos Adolfo. I am always at 8 a.m. in my work. Okay, I am always at 8 a.m. You're missing at before the time. At 8 a.m. Let's see, more examples, they are always in the park, excellent. Very good. <coughs> Another example, they are always happy. Or oh, the children are always happy. Just one thing, guys. Remember, we don't use other verbs. We only use the verb to be. Entonces, en este caso, Cristian puso, I am always go to school. En ese, en ese caso, 
sería solo I always go to school. Pero ahorita les estoy pidiendo ejemplos, examples with the verb to be. Only with the verb to be. Mm. We can change the example, Christian, like this. I am always at school in the mornings. Remember, the verb to be, in what cases do we use the verb to be? We use the verb to be for, for feelings, state, ages, names, marital status, jobs and occupations. But in this case, we'll use it more with states and feelings. States and feelings. Okay, my son. Okay, Amalia, your example, it's okay. My son always goes to the gym. So lo que le falta es, yes. But you are using the verb go. I want you to use the verb, the verb, an example with the verb to be. Okay, my mother is very busy in the morning. Okay, Alicia is always happy. He is usually on time for the work. He's usually studying. Okay, Gabriel, he's always. Okay, Erika, ahí ya está usando el verbo it. Solo tiene que usar el is. Eh, I'm usually. Igual Heriberto está usando el verbo go. Solo tiene que ser el verbo to be. Igual Carlos Adolfo, they are usually practice people. I know this sometimes is a little bit confusing. Sé que a veces uno se confunde. Por eso primero les, les mostré esto. Y lo estuvimos practicando antes. But today, let's focus on this part. The subject, the verb to be, adverb frequency. Se fijan, el complemento, miren, es un adjetivo. Un adjetivo. Entonces, ¿cuál sería el, la estructura? Se lo voy a poner en el chat. Sería <coughs> subject, verb to be, adverb, or frequency, and an adjective, okay? Let's put it like that. Let's put it like that. And you can use adjectives, for example, like early, late, um, beautiful, um, tired, sleepy, hot, Warm, cold, delicious, um, interesting, boring, uh, terrible. Okay, let's, for example, let's talk about the traffic. How is the traffic? How is the traffic always? The traffic is always terrible during rush hours, right? The traffic is always terrible. If you notice, the traffic, the subject, the verb to be, the adverb frequency, and terrible is the adjective. Okay, Jimmy, John is usually boring in his work. Excellent. Vaya, miren, vamos a usar solamente adjectives como complemento. 
only adjectives as complement. No usen otros verbos. <laughs> you are using other verbs. Bueno, ahorita olviden todos los verbos. Go, cook, study, eh, dance. Don't put those verbs, okay? Forget about those verbs in this moment, okay? In this moment, just remember adjectives. Excellent. So we have an example here with a did. The day is always hot. Okay, the day is always The day is always hot. Okay. I will put my example. My cat is always sleeping. <laughs> Very good, Erika. I am usually tired in the afternoon. I am usually tired in the afternoon. Another example. The traffic is always terrible. Mm -hmm. He is the coffee is never iced. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <laughs> I already say that my mother is always beautiful. <laughs> yes, it's true. To put another example, my cell phone is sometimes is sometimes is slow, right? My cell phone is sometimes slow. She's always late to English class. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good example. <laughs> a good example for the structure, but not a good example <laughs> to follow. She is always <coughs> or, or let's say the, the, the opposite, she's never late to English class. <laughs> Carlos Adolfo. Mm. Ahí ha puesto, yo estoy siempre a dormir después de la tienda. <ríe> I'm always, maybe I am always asleep. Estoy dormido. I'm always asleep. Can you change it? Asleep. After 10. Okay. Amalia, estás usando el verbo drink. Don't use the verb drink. Okay, the dog is always angry. Good example. The dog is always angry. Only adjectives, remember, happy, angry, interesting, boring, sick, excited. Okay. 
But we normally use more the other verbs than the verb to be. But I just wanted to tell you what is the difference when using the verb to be with other verbs of frequency and when using the other verbs, okay? Don't worry, <laughs> you'll be okay. <laughs> Good. So right now, guys, we are going to go over the next activity with how often do you? You are going to make six questions with how often. I will show you my examples. How often do you see your friends? I rarely see my friends. How often does your family go out? We never go out. <laughs> how often do you drink water? I drink water every three hours. How often do you exercise? I do exercise three times a month. How often do you cook? I always cook. How often does the teacher dance in class? <coughs> How often does the teacher dance in class? She never no. dances. <laughs> she never dances, right? Yeah, the teacher is crazy, but she never dances in class. <laughs> Okay, so right now, please let's create six questions with how often. Okay, make the six questions right now. In the chat, in the chat, teacher. Uh, no, in your notebook. <laughs> you are going to ask the questions to your classmates later. So copy the, make your questions in your notebook. Uh, while you do it, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? While you are making the, the questions with how often do you, how often do you, and then the verb and the complement. <laughs> Follow the example. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I'm really sick. And I'm trying to do my best. Alba Yoselin. Alba Yoselin. Mm. Uh, uh, say present. I'm taking the attendance. Present. Yeah. <laughs> Amalia Beatriz. Present. Ana Julia Flores. Ana Julia Flores? Present teacher. Okay. Anderson Emanuel Palomo. Anderson Emanuel? Arely Janet Cornejo? Present teacher. Brenda Elisa Medina? Present. Briseida Janet. I'm here, teacher. Este, Daniel, I'm sorry, Daniel, but I am. There is a, we can listen to other people talking. That's why I am muting you. Um, Brisey Tanyarisa, you said present, right? <laughs> Carlos Adolfo Garcia. Carlos Adolfo. Present, Miss. Present. Okay. Carlos Manuel Velázquez. Carlos Manuel Velázquez. Not present. Celina Yasmin Pérez de Paz. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Cindy Fabiola Molina. Present. Claudia Carolina Cruz. Absent. Cristian Josué Leiva. Present. <laughs> Thank you, Cristian. Daniel Enrique Ayala. I'm here, teacher. 
Daniel Quijano. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Edith Carolina Rivera. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Eduardo Enrique Vázquez. Present teacher. Elsa Noelia Portillo. Hi, good evening. Er Erika Noemi West. <clears throat> Present. Stephanie Garcia. Evelyn Janet. Present. Fátima Jocelyn Portillo. Fanny Garcia, presente. Ok. Eh, Gabriel Isabel Guevara. Present. Fátima. Present. Gabriel Alexandra López. Gabriela Alexandra. Gerardo Arturo. Present. Thanks. Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil. Present. Ginny Lisset Escobar. Present. Thank you. Jose Heriberto Durán. Present teacher. Okay, people. Thank you. Thank you for connecting to the class. Very nice. <coughs> Okay, did you finish guys? Do you have your six questions? No yet, miss, no yet. No yet, how many questions do you have? In my case, only three questions. <laughs> only three, okay. To the half, to the half. Well, I'm going to create the rooms and you can you can practice with the questions you have. Okay? Because we need to do it. <laughs> so in the breakout rooms, in the small groups, ask and answer the questions. Okay, practice your speaking. How often do you eat pupusas? How often do you visit the beach? How often do you go to the park? How often do you eat tacos? How often do you clean your house? How often do you take a shower? How often do you uh, wash your clothes? Anything, okay? Go, please.
Go to the breakout rooms, please. Heriberto no se ha unido aún. Usually go to the party. Okay. And find how often does she go to the supermarket? She go to the supermarket twice a week. And number six, how often the... do you eat pizza? I hardly ever eat pizza. The, the yeah. next, uh, how often did you go to the park? And the, the answer is, I, I go um, fre frequency, frequency or frequency. Frequentemente. Frequently. I go fre frequently to the park. I frequently go to the park. I fre okay. Okay. <coughs> park. Gerardo. Uh, otra podría ser. How often do you eat fruit? O oh, fruit. Fruta. Fruit. 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 Uh, I always eat fruit. Fruit. I always eat fruit. <laughs> How often did you drink coffee? Entonces, how often do you go to the stadium? The stadium is la que tengo yo. Y la otra, how often the teacher, the teacher, uh, the teacher dances? How often do you do exercise? And how often? Um, no sé si está bien. How often my mother eats coffee? Ahí, ¿cuál era, digamos, este, el ejercicio? Que no le entendí muy bien. Ajá, aquí está la teacher. Que no sé. <laughs> you have to make the questions. Ask and answer the questions. How often do you... For example... Ajá, uh -huh. how often do you... Ah, yeah. ya. Yeah. ¿Con cuánta frecuencia comes pescado? How often do you eat fish? 
O sea, yo le preguntaría a las mías a Ajá, Eduardo. usted le hace sus preguntas a Eduardo y él le contesta y Eduardo Ya. le va a hacer preguntas a usted. Ajá, va. Pero Ya. me, me refería, o sea, a mis preguntas o las preguntas de ambos, ¿qué eh, tienen que llevar precisamente? El adverbio de frecuencia. Oh, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Sí, es que no le había oído muy bien. Ajá. How often do you eat fish? I eat fish once a month, por ejemplo. Ah, ya. Yeah. I want to listen. No. Make one question. Vaya, how often, Eduardo, do you go to the stadium? La estaba haciendo todavía. No, pero mire, Eduardo, esa pregunta, usted sabe la respuesta. Usted no sabe las preguntas que él se le va a hacer. Pero sí tiene que prestar atención para que sepa responder. How often do you go to the stadium? How often do you go to the stadium? Cuscatlán, Mágico González, to the stadium. Ah, uh, está bien, sí, es cierto. Quiero ver. Tengo que responder en inglés también, ¿va? Exactly. Uh, ver, you can say I always go to the stadium or I sometimes go to the stadium or I never go to the stadium o sea tengo que decir digamos Valeria me preguntó que qué estadio eh, visito frecuentemente con cuánta frecuencia visita el, el estadio uh -huh. vimos los adverbios de frecuencia la semana pasada no los recuerda